Let me go. 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 Oh my god. Today, I'll be giving you guys the best classes, the best settings, best tips, and how to snipe on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Oh my god. I got that guy in my yoga pants, fucking that bitch in a yoga stand, swinging that kid with a open stand, slow to be smoking that OB lamp. Yo, welcome to How to Snipe on Modern Warfare 2. I'll show you guys the best settings, the best classes, centering, what you could do to practice your sniping, how to hit clips, and a lot you need to know about sniping on Modern Warfare 2. We're gonna start with centering first, but if this video helps, please drop a like on the video. Put so much thought and time into this video to give you guys the best tips, so enjoy the rest of the video. We're gonna go over centering. Now, centering, practicing against bots is very, very helpful. I want all of you guys, if you guys are new to sniping, please do this. I want to show off this clip right here with the SAB. I'm going to slow it down as well. As you can see, the centering is perfect right here. It was really fast shots. I predicted where the bot was going to go. It turned around, got the center of my screen, and got the shot. It was way too perfect. So, of course, if you have time, please just practice with bots. Playing with bots, centering your shots, practicing your shot is really, really helpful, especially if you're a new sniper. Back in the day on older Call of Duties, games like Modern Warfare, games like Modern Warfare Remastered even, I would play bots for like 15 to 30 minutes. I don't really do as much as I used to before. So, playing respawn is like kind of like my warm-up, but shooting bots for 30 minutes, minutes before you go into a public game before you go into snd is really really helpful suggest all of you guys should do it if you're wanting to improve now let's talk about setting a little bit more all right so i actually didn't know and i want to give a shout out to phase testy i didn't know the setting was a thing as you can see on the screen there's a center dot in these settings and there's also a center dot scale to where you can actually make the dot in the middle of your screen a lot bigger dot is there for everyone so you're always going to want to focus in the middle of the screen make sure you go in your settings go to interface and once again if you'd like to you can actually make the dot a little bit bigger therefore make making it easier to center your shots. So if you have time, please play with bots. You'll definitely get more comfortable. You can definitely do style shots like the 360s. And as we see 360s on the screen, now I think it's time to talk about movement. Now let's start with Cert and Destroy. Now everyone knows that when running with a knife, you can run a lot faster. I think running with a knife a lot faster is the move, especially in Cert and Destroy. As you can see on the screen right now, I'm running with a knife. I'm using double time as well, which can be helpful with movement when going with rush routes in SD. As if I was running with a sniper, my movement would obviously be a lot slower. Now, you might be thinking, well, you want to go for clips with your sniper out. What is the movement for that? But I wanted to start with SD because I do believe double time perk and having a knife, maybe a pistol as a secondary, is the move with movement, insert and destroy. And I also wanted to show off line of sights on one map with a sniper, as you can see. Drop a like if you guys want me to show more rush routes, insert and destroy. I'm not going to go through everything. I'm not going to go through all my rush routes in this video. But once again, if you guys want one whole video for it, drop a like in this video. You could challenge through this double window right here. You could challenge through the main window in middle which is very risky also found a jump spot you can go to on top of a it's really sick and also let me know in the comments section below if you guys want more snd videos i miss doing them on cold war and modern warfare now let's get into the respawn movement when it comes to sniping now unfortunately modern warfare 2 the movement has been nerfed i'm sure almost all of you guys already know that as you can see on the screen now if you jump in ads it's a lot slower than if you were to run in ads the sprint to fire ads is a lot faster than jumping ads as other call of duties like modern warfare 2019 cold war if i'm not mistaken even Vanguard had a little bit faster ADS when it came to jumping in ADS. I could be wrong. So the movement you're going to want to do is something like this. Now you're probably asking like, bam, you just jump and you just explained that jumping in ADS is a lot slower than if you were to run in ADS. Well, here's the thing. I actually did not scope all the way. And obviously you can't do it every time, but if you want aggressive gameplay still, if you want to play aggressively, snipers like the SPX, the SAB, still aggressive gameplay. Sometimes it could be lucky because your shot has to be insane, but I love aggressive gameplay. But that aggressive five piece right there is very, very satisfying. And now next we're going to talk about going for clips. Now spawn trapping can be kind of hard to learn sometimes, especially since the game mode to play for clips, I feel like right now is hardpoint. As you can see from the first three kills that I got, I noticed that they have the hard 
hard point. So now I have to go to that hard point. And I, now I know in my head that they're spawning over there. And every time I kill them, they're going to keep spawning over there because they got the hard point last. And how I know that is because I spawn in the middle of the map. And that was a clip without radar. Now let's look at the radar now. As you can see on the top left, there was a radar sweep. I see where they're spawning. All about looking at your radar, having fast reaction time, and continuously going every single time. Having my gun up. I'm not jumping in this scenario. I'm constantly bringing my gun up, shooting, and know that they're going to keep spawning there. Either on the, either on the right side or on the left side. I went to the left and I kept getting more kills. It can be pretty tough, but I feel like this game really is all about radar. And of course, just hearing sounds, footsteps. Shooting doesn't ping anyone on the minimap, which is pretty unfortunate. Once again, I looked at the radar. I realized where they're spawning. I decided to do style points. I 360 the last guy and we just kept going. Let me know if you guys want a full video of just learning the spawns, telling you guys all the spawns on every map. It'd be kind of hard to fit everything in here. So I wanted to give you guys a few maps and just let you guys know. Look at your radar. Look where the hard point is at and pay attention to where you spawn as well. They're very important. Now, here we go with my class setups. Now, my class setups, you guys can copy for yourselves. I decided to make a whole bunch of classes for you guys to try out. I'll be putting all the classes on the screen. Of course, this might change as I play the game more because I believe we do unlock more attachments the more I use other red guns. I've actually been grinding for camos and stuff like that too. Here's a class setup with the MCPR. You guys can see it for yourself. You guys can pause it. But here's a big thing that they actually just added back in is tuning. Now, what you're going to do is actually click tuning over an attachment that lets you see the stock. You go right above it, you click tune. And then on the bottom and the left side, you can actually tune your gun. So I want to put up the ADS all the way up. Once again, you guys click on another tune. And then on the bottom, you can see that I can mess with the ADS and I can up it even more. Right here, you're going to want to put the sprint to fire speed all the way up. And then on the left side, once again, you put the ADS speed all the way up once again. That's how I do my class. That's how I tune my snipers. I make it to where you can max out ADS all the way. Here we got the regular SPR class setup. If you guys want to copy for yourselves, you can take out the sniper scope if you'd like to. Sometimes I like to. You can call it not sniping, whatever. You can maybe put on a reach chamber speed. And then once again, you're going to want to tune the sniper and make it all ADS. I showed you guys a class setup for the Lockwood in one of my videos. So you guys can check it out as well. Here's the class setup for the MK2. We have the XPX80. This is the one that everyone loves using. I tend to change this class setup a lot. Sometimes I'll use a sound moderator. Sometimes I'll take it off and put on a reach chamber speed. Maybe I'll put on like a random optic that I like using. It all really depends to be honest. But what you want to do is copy all these ADS attachments. You want to put all ADS and make sure all your attachments are all ADS to make your sniper quick. And of course, tuning your gun and making all ADS speed once again. This is my baby. This is the SAB Marksman Rifle, aka Sniper. This is my best class setup in my opinion. You guys can copy for yourselves. I actually don't put on the stock for the ADS because it reduces flinch. So instead, I put on reach chamber speed and it's insane. Once again, you're going to want to tune the sniper towards all ADS and it's super insane once you max it out. So the LAB Sniper Rifle is actually one of my least favorite snipers. But here's the class setup. Sometimes I'll take out the bolt. Maybe I'll put on a sound moderator. I tend to change my classes a lot. I'm just trying to tell you guys straight up. You guys are going to want to put all ADS attachments on your sniper. As weeks go by, as months go by, I'll definitely change my classes a lot more, but mainly focused on all the ADS attachments to get the fastest aim down sight possible. And here we have the Signal 50. It's probably one of the slowest snipers. So you're definitely going to want to tune up the sniper, put the ADS all the way up, sprint the fire also all the way up. You don't need to have five attachments, but if you'd like to, you could put on the first muzzle, tune it up, put the ADS all the way up. I use stim, I use throwing knife, and then we're going to talk about perk package. Now, perk package is very important. Now, for respawn game modes for clips, when I play hard point, when I play domination, kill confirmed, overkill, battle harden, fast hand, and quick fix. Sometimes I'll switch out battle harden, I'll put on bomb squad. And then this right here is for my SD perks. I don't usually run double snipers when I play SD, so I have double time, battle harden. Once again, I do switch this out between battle harden and bomb squad. Then I have fast hands, quick fix, maybe sometimes high alert when I feel like playing ratty. It all really depends. And then what you're going to do is put on dead silence when you play SD, or if you're playing respawn, you like going for streaks, you put on dead silence and you can put on mutants box. That's basically it with all my classes. If you guys are confused or maybe you guys want to recommend me some classes to use, then definitely go right ahead in the comment section below. I'm so down to use your guys' classes for a video. So definitely don't be afraid to comment down below. Now we're going to go through my settings. Now these are my own settings I've been using since the game first came out and I'm very comfortable with it. I really don't want you guys to copy it exactly unless you guys will just want to try it out for yourselves but i never really recommend you guys copy my settings please get used to what you're using not everyone that maybe comments down below or maybe just watching this video will get used to 2020 sensitivity just like i do and with that being said i do recommend if you guys are new to sniping please work your way up when it comes to sensitivity maybe you're used to slower sensitivity maybe play on 10 cents 11 cents 12 and then as you're progressing as you can see yourself getting a little bit better and used to your sensitivity maybe work your way up to 13 then 14 you can also skip a one you can go to 16. But for me, like I said, I am comfortable with 2020 cents and not everyone has to play on 2020 cents. You do not have to play on my sensitivity to be in an 
insane sniper. Just get that through your head and I guarantee you'll be more confident with yourself when it comes to sniping. I play flipped, meaning I shoot with bumpers instead of triggers. I stick layout as default, control of vibration off. Everything else is pretty much default as you can see on the screen right now. You guys can pause it for yourselves. We go to advanced. I do play on default aim assist and then dynamic aim response curve. I just found this the best. Everyone always asks me why I don't play on precision. I just feel like precision only worked on Cold War if you guys watch me during Cold War. In my opinion, I don't think Black Ops or focusing aim assist is that insane yet, but who knows? Maybe in the next couple weeks or months, I might end up changing it and I'll definitely let you guys know. Now, my custom sense per zoom is very important to me. These are my settings right here. If you guys want to copy for yourself, they're just curious. Also, dead zone is very important, but do not copy mine. My controller is different than yours. You got to realize we all have different controllers. They all feel different, but this is the dead zone I do play on. Once again, everything else is pretty much default. You guys can pause it for yourselves if you guys would like to. And as for FOV, I do play on 120 FOV, but I do recommend you guys playing on a lower FOV because it does add aim assist. You play on 105, 110, or if you guys just like how 120 FOV looks, you can do it as well, just like I do. But that's pretty much it. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope this video was helpful. But one huge thing, if you guys want me to make a part two, this video hits 7,000 likes that I'll make a part two of how to snipe on Modern Warfare 2. There might be stuff that I left out. There might be stuff that you guys want to comment down below. Maybe ask me that I forgot to mention. If you guys are new, if you guys are drop a sub, share this to your friends, maybe to the people that want to become a sniper, upcoming snipers, people that need help. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm live on Twitch. If you guys want to pull up, twitch.tv slash bams. Turn on notifications, do all that stuff. I love you guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Much love. Deuces. Peace out, people.